guests of MTV's House of Style, where Fashionably Loud 2000 begins December 11th. Please welcome Molly Sims. Now, you're from the South, right? From the South. Where about? Murray, Kentucky. Murray, Kentucky. Very now, is that small. A lot of town. skyscrapers, a lot of. Oh, tons. You really? know, the Dairy Queen and the bank. Yeah, that's no, about very it. Very small. 15,000, 20,000 people. Well, that's pretty good. And that's size. with a college, though. That's, huh? that's with a college, uh, with a university. Oh, okay. What university? Murray. Oh, Murray, you know. Murray State University. Murray State, of course. Murray State, of course. Of course. Who doesn't know Murray State? Now, the. What did you, did you, you didn't go to Murray State, did you? No, I went to Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt? Oh. Vanderbilt. I oh. wanted to go into politics, believe it or not. Politics? Politics. Oh, yeah, I wanted to be this feminist woman. I wanted to go to Washington, and I was a major in political science. Wow. Minor did you get convention. disillusioned? What happened? Um, actually, I had an internship at the Republican National Convention. Oh, wasn't that Clinton guy, was it? No. <laughs> and, um... <laughs> What I went to Washington, D.C. for the summer, yeah. and I was so, like, I don't know, I, I thought it was going to be so different. And then I got there, and it was so much BS, so much red tape. Everybody was trying to get here and here and here yeah. and here. I mean, these people didn't even believe in what they were, you know, campaigning for. Well, thank God you came to Hollywood. So there you go. <laughs> Well, that kind of thing would never happen. I mean, but look, I mean, look what's going on now. Yeah, yeah, well, it, it is crazy. It is, it, it's silly, but... I was hosting an event yeah. over in Europe a couple of weeks ago, and this little fringe guy comes up to me and he goes, who's going to be your president? And he goes, <laughs> I mean, we're the most powerful country in the world and we can't even elect a president. A French, how many times did we save their ass? Thank you very much. <laughs> That's true. Mark the triumph. <laughs> Uh, now, style is your business, and you look style very is my business. and you look very stylish. But I, I want to ask you about the two candidates for style. Now, here's here's Bush and Gore right here. Now, oh Lord! Let's see. Now, you can let's take a look at the two of them there. Can you see now? Can you you see can kind of see Gore's uh, his dangling Chad there if you can't. Well, be I didn't know the dolphin shorts were back in. Dolphin shorts. Which one is the more stylish of the two? Well, I mean, considering that um, Gore has all the weight of the world already on his shoulders, even while he's running, Ooh. I would say Gore. Gore I'm has sorry, Bush. Bush. Oh, you think Bush has more style? Bush, I mean, he's in black. I mean, they both have white socks. Yeah. No white socks. White socks. Well, but you're running. I know, but... No, so you yeah. Okay. Not socks. Well, how did you get into modeling? How did you... Um, I was at Vanderbilt. A girlfriend okay. of mine was a model with Elite in Atlanta, Merritt right. Taylor. I have no idea where she is right. at this moment in time. Um, she was like, you're really tall. You should try. So I did a test, which were like pictures. They were sent to New York. Um... I was supposed to stay there a week. I stayed six weeks, and then they asked me to go to Europe my wow. junior year to model. Wow. So. so how did you get House of Style? How did it... I pleaded. I begged. I called as many people as possible to say, please give me the job. After... <laughs> well, that works. I pleaded. And, and that worked? It worked, totally. Wow. No, I had many um, interviews. Yeah. A couple of disastrous interviews, yeah. actually. Um, I had to interview Kurt Loder, who was a legend in MTV. Right, Everybody right. knows who he is. He was a writer for Rolling Stone, and... I mean, it was just awful. He has such a dry sense of humor. Like you, of course. No, I'm joking. <laughs> uh, mine is a dried out sense of humor. <laughs> but it was just horrible. And then finally, after interview after interview, I signed two days yeah. later, and then I did my first thing in May. Now you have some stuff. You know, style do. doesn't have to be. Is this stylish stuff? This is very stylish well, stuff. Let me see that. All right. Okay, now well. Let's... You know, we've all got to have a hat. Really? Yeah. Little label, little Burberry's. Well, yeah, but see, you look good in that, obviously, but you look good in anything. No, but you know what? Accessories are key. Is that Russell? Now, how about Russell style-wise? Oh, God! Call me. I'm always available for any style tips. Or now, you see, this Thank is you. a... No, no. <laughs> no. That shirt costs nineteen dollars. This stupid thing costs twenty five hundred bucks. Hey. And you're talking to him. I'm hey, this around. thing right here. And what is that? How much do you think this costs? Whatever it is, it's too much. No, how much do you think it costs? I don't know. How far how did you much? have to chase this shirt? Way to get too that? much. Get that? Twenty five dollars. You got screwed. Get your money back. <laughs> that, that's that's horrible. Oh come on, this has no style. Well, Jay, why don't you try it on? So oh yeah, can... maybe. Oh come on, women. Come on. Oh, maybe if you're at the Kit Kat Club in Atlanta, maybe, but I don't think so. Really? This is ugly. No, it's not. Oh, come on. No. Okay, well, what about jeans? Jeans are okay. Jeans are kind of sexy. Look, they Those go really look, low. They look, uh, Every girl's got to have a great pair of jeans. 
Okay, yeah. those are okay. Those are good, they're a little You calling me a girl? <laughs> well, I got a little present for you, a leather jacket. Oh, a leather jacket, I have, yes. all right, I'll try it, I'll give it no, a shot. No, that sports car, motorcycle oh, driving cool. that you really are. Well, I will wear that, well, thank you. Thank loosen you, Molly. up a little bit. Thank you very much, I, I need to loosen up, that's me. Molly, thank you very much. Be right back with Seven Dust and Mark McGrath right after this. <laughs>